Namaste, welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. Today we will make a one pot sambar rice. I am going to make it in my instant pot. So you put all the ingredients in, switch it on and then when you are ready to eat, you have lovely hot steaming sambar rice ready for you. For this I have taken one cup rice, regular raw rice which you use at home and one fourth cup of tuvar dal that is the pigeon pea lentils. We will wash these together and bring it back. Now we will press the saute mode. It automatically comes default for 30 minutes. Now first I will take about 2 tablespoons of oil in this inner part. Add some mustard seeds. Next add in some methi seeds and 1 dry red chilli. A few crystals of heat. Here I have some small onion or sambar onion which I have peeled. A few pieces of yellow pumpkin, some broad beans and a few curry leaves. We will add them here. And saute them till the onions are a little bit cooked. Meanwhile, I have here one fourth cup of fresh grated coconut. To this, I am adding about three teaspoons of homemade sambar powder. Add very little water and grind it to a paste. See, when the onions become a little bit uh, translucent like this, I have here about a tablespoon of raw peanuts or ground nuts. I will add that too. This is the ground paste. If you don't have coconut, you can just add the sambar powder directly along with the vegetables. But if you have coconut, you can add it. This is half a tablespoon of tamarind paste or you can even use tamarind extract, whatever you have. Turmeric powder and salt to taste. Mix all these well together so that the masala also is well distributed and gets a little bit cooked in the oil too. Here I have measured out 5 cups of water. For 1 cup of rice I have taken 5 cups of water. Now we will just allow this to come to a boil. See the sambar is boiling well now. We will add this washed rice and dal to it. Mix it well. Lock the lid in position and be sure to lock the safety valve also. So it is on manual mode, high pressure, cooking time 8 minutes. First it will preheat, then it will come to cooking mode and then switch off. Now it has completed the cooking and come to keep warm position. We will just wait for this steam to be released naturally and then we can open the cooker and see. We have waited for the pressure to release completely and now we can open the cooker and have a look. See, perfectly done sambar rice. So as a combination, I have just fried some appala and tomato onion raita. I have chopped some tomatoes, one onion and a few coriander leaves. Adding a little bit of salt and we will add some beaten curd to this. So we will serve out our tomato onion raita and some appala. Our steaming hot 
sambal rice and for added flavor just a spoon of ghee on top a very easy method of making an instant uh, one pot sambar rice either for lunch or dinner bachelors working women those who are short of time you can definitely try out this and it tastes awesome for those of you who are interested i'll give you the link of the solara instant pot in the description box you can use the open code geeta and avail a discount thank you for watching the video please subscribe to geeta's kitchen and we'll meet again with another interesting episode from geeta's kitchen thank you